staying with my grandparents, being so far out, there wasn't really anything that hit us. I mean, we had a couple trees fall down. Our driveway was blocked, but there was nothing too serious about the storm. I mean, had a couple of shingles fall off the roof. Um, but after the fact, we couldn't leave because of the trees blocking the driveway. It took a day and a half for someone to get out there and do it for us because all of the chainsaws we had were broken. Um, but when we came back into Southport, there was just a mess everywhere at our house. Um, there was a tree on top of it. And, you know, there, the front door wasn't shut, so it was just kind of open the whole time that we were gone. And we had animals there that we had to put up. So they were terrified whenever we got back. Um, I felt really bad for leaving them there. But we couldn't take them with us because my grandparents also have dogs, but they're big dogs, so I don't think they would have played nicely. Um, my grandfather lives in the cove. That was terrifying to see. Um, it took us 20 minutes to get to his house walking because of all the trees. And, you know, they, he's handicapped and he's only living with my uncle who is about to be 20. And, you know, they didn't have very much in the first place because they couldn't leave to go get any supplies before the storm. So we brought them um, MREs and food and water because my grandfather wouldn't leave and come stay with us. But how would you say, you know, looking at today and before the storm, how, how is your life different today than it was? Um, it's gotten better. We've rebuilt a lot. Um, we've fixed up the house and got the yard cleaned. Um, my grandfather's house, he cleaned up, or people cleaned up for him. And everything's, it's okay, but it's not okay, okay. It's good enough. 